chapter two. Swamp, huh? Damage compressor used to refill oxygen tanks. I should be able to fix it. Rusty oxygen tanks, they're useless. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy, what is near the junkyard? Oh. The map is outdated, it must have been prepared around two years ago. The woods have changed considerably since then, moreover, it's so ragged. Fairly readable, however, I think I can make out the position of the cottage near the junkyard and the village with that green. Okay. Day 1, 13 15 hours. The compressor is broken, so it's the lock on the trapdoor leading to the underground. I had to use a blowtorch, fucking moisture. Day two, 1200 hours. We took, uh, we took, say, 45 photos of the tree from the observation point in the vicinity of 3C. Grew twice it, its size in a month. Really quick, even for the local standards. Day 2, 15 20 hours. I'm slowly running out of oxygen. I've sent two men to search the nearby junkyard. Maybe we won't have to go back for spare parts for the compressor. Watch out for the cottage near the junkyard. Mark building on the map. Someone could be living there. Day 2, 18 12 hours. At least 10 locals lurking between the trees. How do they know about us? We won't be able to gather our equipment in time. The risk of getting detected is too high. We need to e back. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, boop, 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 Doesn't need to be repaired on. Fine. But you have item. Oh, what the? Very covered in strange organic black shell. I won't be able to open it until we get rid of this substance. Just loot everything we can. We have a light there. Okay. It's covered in a thick layer of dust. It looks like no one has used it for a long time. But it still smells of warm plastic and burned wires. Okay. 
Can I get the well fixed for the door? Oh, can check how much the fuel does in here. Let's fill it up. Sugar, 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 sugar. I need a key for Okay, let's see. Close vicinity if there is anything to quickly pick up. Things. Uh, okay. That weird thing was. There's like no place to really hide here. Feels like. We can repair that one. And we can have this one. We can have lights here and we can get the other light up here, I guess. Try and stay in these two parts.
We have that one up there. Let me just lay it up there in case. Okay, we, have one up there. we have it there. I'm gonna die pretty quick. And uh, let's see. Did it hang? If that's worth it. I'm just wondering if they can break fences or not. Maybe we will force them to always come from that direction or this direction. Okay, let's see. Uh, did it say anything what we were supposed to do in the room? Let's see. Broken compressor. From the broken compressor used to fill up oxygen tank. Okay. Found an abandoned jungle in the swamp hideout and managed to mark the village with a tree on the map thanks to it. Spare parts for the compressor. The old journal also included information about the cottage located near the junkyard. According to the notes, I will be able to find some spare compressor parts there. They might come in handy. So, I need to go all the way through the whole freaking map to get the compressor parts. Hmm. Okay. Let's take the village first. They're hostile or... So friendly away at the village. Buddy, oh, doctor, you again? What do you want from me? Want me to put me in front of a firing squad for desertion? Doctor snorts ironically, hiding his irritation. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm too close. I can hear her. As if she was standing beside me, my little. Uh, shaking hands, he reaches for the cigarette butt between his yellow teeth. I'm sure someone is waiting for you too. He spits out the rest of the tobacco. Why are you showing this to me? You better tell me how to get there. The peasants broke through the wall of trees. I could not believe my eyes. I tried to do it many times. I couldn't manage to cut the trees fast enough. What's as if the woods uh, were healing the scars? The motherfuckers were growing back right in front of my eyes. I was afraid I would get stuck between trunks. Losing that sow may made their blood run cold. They escaped fearing starvation. The doctor smiles as he puffs the cigarette out of the frying pan and into the fire. They have a camp in the old quarry in the southern edge of the swamp. I've realized something. It came to me when we were walking through the tunnel. 
feel like a disease during your time. The doctor takes a step back as he was afraid of me. At the same time, a sinister smile appears on his face. You don't belong to this land. You weren't here when the forest was born. You're a splinter, a foreign body, a vagabond. And them, the forest and everything else here? These are the antibodies. Even the morons from the village, raging in white blood cells in an infected bloodstream. That's the reason you hide from us. The doctor is visibly pleased with himself and his theory. His hands are no longer trembling. He produces a hand-rolled cigarette and lights it. Logical, isn't it? He used to come here to treat people. I pulled out kids' milk teeth, delivered babies. Then came the disease I have never even heard of. I was the only doctor in the area. You cut, uh, you cut us off from the outside world. First you, then the woods. No help from anyone. Last time I came here was three or four years ago. Then the trees blocked the path. The doctor looks around the area. It's different now. The fields are flooded. Everyone in the village is dead. So much work and nothing. Some of the flooded areas hide underwater passages. Recently I fell into this underwater den in the northwestern edge of the swamp. I have no idea where it leads. I'm a shitty diver. I've seen a similar one in the northeastern edge of the swamp. Okay, so that's why we need uh, the compressor to fill up the tubes then so we can go into these underwater passages and I guess. One in the northwestern and one in the northeastern edge. Okay. Embroy. Okay, weapon parts and tape. That one gives a nice boost in that one. But this guy is a new trader then. He doesn't have much to trade. The figure of the shrine bears a sign of teeth. It's partially eaten. Okay. What the heck? Oh. What's that? Hmm. Not that damn it. More much poison. Call. Wait a minute, did I? Shit, I'm bring the lock piece with me.
rainy weather, man. Walk from the other side. So what about finish? No. People say this is uh, when uh, this is just halfway of the whole game. It looks like we have a lot to do. Maybe night too, please. So it's back. Okay, what do we have? Well, the double chain immediately when we close to death. Oh. Means so they will be able to become invisible to enemies if they still. Oh, I mean, that one is just kick ass, but so is that one. Huh? Hmm. But uh, what do they consider close to death though? Double damage, that's just insane though. If you actually. I guess vitality is the. This one could be good. If you run into a lot of them and then you stand still, make uh, get them to reset. You can rush by a bunch of enemies. Then I guess he'll stand still and use this one. Ah. But you probably die before you get to swing after, I guess. No, I'm thinking vitality or camera, camera, uh, ammo. Just healing items will be less effective. Is the weakness I will take? Because I don't want the accuracy.
Maybe not the best choices, but what the heck. I find the healing to be pretty good as it is. Okay, first night, we're probably gonna die horribly. Don't see what the point would be to barricade actually anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna use up the bandages and then I uh, will pick up the pills after that. Might take that off right now. When I get that one to get bashed up during night time. Well, that wasn't much extra vitality. That was like a half a bar. A rip off. Bring it on! He was waiting for someone to come and kill me now. One new hmm. meaning panic, I could jump through the window, I can jump over the fence. Sign to the left.
time. Survived. Three visitors stare at me in silence as if waiting for my mood. I can only hear the heavy breathing of the tallest figure holding a giant bag. As the tallest figure opens the bag, the room is filled with an in intense smell of mushroom. Apparently, they wish to give me something. Okay, um... Well, what we need in this trap pack. Sell. We can sell that, right? Plus, I can't make any more of these. No. We can sell that. Um, maybe bread. Definitely. Matches we can use. Bottles I never use. Anything of these things I need right now? And this one is pretty good. I'm not gonna buy it that mushroom, it's just too expensive. Uh, shotgun shell. Okay, um... That one is a lot, 1600. Worth it. Okay. Mm I'd rather have more uh, that so I can buy uh, stuff that I really gonna need.
Okay, we are done here. The body of a man wearing a helmet, his head has been severed. Tell them one. Huh. Yeah, exactly. I'm old crazy. Yeah. Someone scratch out the word liar. <laughs> You know, uh, should we go back to the buildings and see what we can find? Uh, yeah. The buildings should we explore some more. Come on, you mother trucking mushroom. Hmm? I barely see anything. Shitty. Was that weird thing it did? Yeah, I know it is very dark. Same trap with a frozen test I mean, what the heck? Look at chat, you know, look at what the heck you're doing. Okay. What thieves did you scratch out in the floor? And I stuck in all these mushrooms all over the place. So slow in the
Is that healing with one bandage? She healed me all the way up anyway. May not be that fast, but she still heals a lot. Stamina back. I did check this. It looks like there's a path in there, but it isn't. Okay, so how am I gonna be able to break these damn things? Can I... Need to go back and repair. I have to go back and repair more. Like that. It took like so much of the, um, the durability just shopping that thing. How much? Um, your ability it took. Few, that's good. Got more of that. Um, flash that we can use. to the village go that place as much as I can first before we go to the other side okay so what the heck is this then? gonna die I 
that seems to be a bad thing. Damage to keep some going down. Is that fair? Oh, it's one of those spots with some black goo on it. Keep going there. Ah, crap. Got to get my pills. Fit on it. This guy's had the word thief on the photo. I hit the poison trap now, I'm dead. I should go back. the well to heal ourselves up. Okay, so the well doesn't heal us up all the way anymore. Like, is that bullshit?
Pills we can sell. Uh, upgrade a weapon. Oh, we have the materials for it, but ooh. Oh, god damn it. I assume that part is over in the cottage. Yeah, and uh, to get more upgrades, I need to upgrade the workshop, it said. Uh, I mean, I would have to make have two of those, make uh, yet another axe or find another axe. Price will be somewhere. Yeah, it's gotta find them. So, Just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put this trap at. like no real choice where to put it and I don't want to use up making new ones to use the scrap metal because scrap metal is too useful for me So I can't make any new bandages either.
one shot. So a dog in and wanna Yeah, I think so. It's also something that you have to like loot them during this time because when it turns into day, the bodies disappear. You can't loot them. It's like. Hmm. Yeah, we're doing good so far. Just this is costing me though, because I need to repair my axe. And it costs scrap metal, which I don't like using. I'm gonna have to buy the scrap metal every time. survived okay um but time um I might have to save one of these need that want that uh, lock pick uh I could buy that one I just wait and hopefully no nah, I'm not gonna do much money. Okay, I'm gonna need to buy the two rags. Mm, can we go with this? Mm. 
No, I'm not uh, trying to hoard things. I'm just trying to get the stuff that I want to get. Yeah, I was thinking about that, um, but then I can't get the good upgrade for it. I have rocks, the rocks are in my sawmill. So I could get that one, that one, but I have rocks uh, in here. Well, I'm missing one rock, so right now it's no point. Um, uh, lock picks with us. Perfect to have during this times. Um, we could bring okay. Let's see if we can uh, oh, crap. repair my axe before it goes. Yep, let's see. Maybe last visit to the village. Let me. I don't know, maybe go up and have a little look around here, but that's. Seems to be what's in the important place, though. And I think that one has the upgrade we need. Damn thing or not, or try. Okay. Didn't say that I will kill it, but Players that we needed. Hey, we got a lottery ticket. Did we win anything? It's a <laughs> one of those pencils that goes up and down when you turn it upside down and stuff like.
Who are you? I don't know. Wait! Bloody hell, you're alive! The old man extends his hand blindly trying to reach me. It looks interesting. He has no potato his legs, I see. You're not from around here, eh? You cannot be, hmm? All them lads are dead, it's only me. Me and finally finds my arm and grabs it. For a moment he clutches my hand in silence, then I hear him mumbling under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. It's only this. This chair. Bloody hell. This gate stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. What? The old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? It is long thing is digging into my hand. You know, fucking tree that. He looks like a tree with those faces. I know him buggers every single of them. So close and so fake. They're not real, they are not. From time to time, I thank God I went blind, I don't have to look at him. The old man lets go of my hand to lean against the broken back of the chair. He sighs with relief. It disgusts me, it fucking disgusts me, this buggery. This fucking scum all the time. I have to listen to its pathetic blabber. Complaining all the time, as if I was supposed to believe it's human. That it's me, Sokka. Yeah, right. He suddenly reaches towards me with both hands, almost falling out from the chair. He grabs onto my sleeve. I feel all his weight on me. You lad, you've got your hands and legs, strong arms, I beg you. Get rid of that filth from my village. I can't bear another day of that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace, fucking hell. I want to die in peace. Listen to me. I thought about it for a long time. I had a lot of time to think, for fuck's sake. Eyes widen, his pupils are milky white. I can feel him climbing my coat. You need to find the basement. Essex basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree is too large, so if you can't reach it from the top, you got to try it from the bottom. Find the basement. And there, surely you will find the tree's roots. The bloody thing must have roots. That's where they are. Destroy them, pull them, drag them, twist the fuck out of them. You'll find a way, eh? I know you will. The old man slides down my coat, straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment he searches for his stone, which he uses to prop himself up against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you, thank you. For the three boys, upon seeing the photo, the cripple cringes with disgust. These ruffians, eh? Sons of a thief. There were seven of them. The mother took the four youngest ones when the younger when the hunger struck. But the three stayed with the father. They were weak and sickly. One day the father got in his head that they were getting smaller rations because we have written them off. His hands start to tremble. They went with a group of people to rob us of our food in the night. They broke into the basement. It didn't end well. The cripple goes silent. The lads threw them out of the village. I don't know what happened to them after that. People used to say they wandered the woods with the savages, looking for their place. It gives me back the photo. I can still hear the cries of the thief all the bloody time. The old man grabs the photograph, feels it, then takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts it to his eye. A road, a road home, a load of bollocks. Road to Menace is what it is. It used to be different here. First the wood changed, the trees started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off, and the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. What are you going to do? What are you going on about again? The old man leans towards me, scowling. The wheelchair? The water took me legs. Then those wankers burned my house and me pigs. It was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease. So they said. My soccer. The disease took her from me. All I have is this wheelchair. This land. No one lives around here anymore. Everyone is dead. Only sometimes. The man lowers his voice. Sometimes I hear footsteps. Wake me up at night. Sound of bare feet against the floor and 
bells sort of they come out of nowhere they move towards the trees then come back they pass me and all silent they are like a nightmare bloody nightmare years ago when mice were good people used to pass through here they would leave their huts and go there where the damn tree grows they would all would often leave at night so that no one could see them they went into the deep dark woods and never came back some of them would say they're going home but most of them were silent I don't know the land has changed the trees that cut us off from the rest of the world but home for me has always been here and that monstrous moaning abomination grew out of the ground blocked the passage and that's that no one has managed to pass through since then maybe people found some other place maybe they died at the swamps just like us oh my god he has so much gossip man if you came if you come across some wheels two little wheels so that i could fix my chair maybe you would benefit from it as well yeah. find some wheels sure. like that Get some fish. Mm -hmm. Come on, what the heck? Food inventory, huh? I like that. Minus five potatoes, plus one dog. <laughs> the hatch leading to the basement is blocked from the inside. The marks on it suggest someone tried to break it open. Do it's like I need to break it. Gigantic, its bark stays in constant motion, it swells up and collapses into itself as it's breathing. See human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk, they're also moving as it gesturing in slow motion. Dozens of mouths repeat the line simultaneously, creating a uniform, noisy murmur. Between the bows, I catch a man's gaze. It's fixed on me. His body, similar to the other being, seems to form an integral part of the being. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises, pointing to something on the horizon above the roofs of the destroyed village. The man's lips are moving, but the ghastly murmur of the other voices drowns out his words. Kick the tree, hoping that the voice will go silent. Try to climb the tree, look at the lips. But 
the lips. Even though the figure speaks sluggishly, it is too high for me to read this lip properly. I think one of the words is radio. Kick the tree. I kick the tree trunk with all my strength, breaking a branch sticking out from the between the roots. It hurts! I hear a sullen voice coming from beneath my feet. The face of a man who has grown into the root is completely covered in bark. His, his lips barely stick above the mud and his, and his raised arms resemble branches. One of them is broken in the elbow. The stump leads a wide, gooey substance. Instead of seeping down, it slowly flows upward, forming a new arm. to climb the tree sounds like a really stupid idea but I'm gonna do it bark is slimy and soft it's its creases move away from my shoes and hands I feel the arms that protrude from the root tugging at my clothes I'm not sure if they want to drag me down or pull me closer I barely break free from the grass climbing up is out of the questions but he said something about radio I notice a little smiling face of a girl gazing at me from behind a cluster of sleeping heads. Oblivious to the chaos around her, she studies me with curiosity. Just next to her, a massive man calmly hums a melody. The lullaby drowns in the overwhelming noise surrounding the tree. Barely able to make out any conversations and squabbles from the horrible noise of the tree boughs. Took everything from us. The shouts come from the from an old man. Only the tip of his head and one of his arms sticks out from between the tightly crowded bodies. You stole it, thieves! Made the dogs piss on your faces. Right next to him, a woman's head wobbling from side to side repeats, "We were hungry. We were hungry." Another figure hiding its face under an enormous ruse lets out a shilling shriek. Quiet, fucking quiet, leave us in peace, shut up! He is interrupted by a man next to him, his intestines hanging out from his stomach. It was our common good, it was meant for all of us, you stole it! High above, at the top of the crown, two silhouettes hanging side by side from their hands and legs thrown into the trunk, but trying to bite each other's faces off. Okay. Interesting bunch of people in that tree, huh? Oh! Damn, we have two signals. Probably... Oh, that's where the basement hatch is. Yeah, I killed this so uh, I went with the um, wolf that he wanted. I guess it would be different because you have a choice. You can go with the, um, the musician, and the guy who plays uh, violin uh, outside the witch's house. I assume something different happens if you go with that choice. Yeah, we should go back and um, upgrade and stuff. Well, they were stealing from each other and stuff.
Yeah, I don't know why. Possible. <laughs> Probably says a bit about things in the journal if one just reads it. Um, oh, um. Six different. Uh, so what do we need to upgrade now? We need. Oh come on! I need. Ah, oh, can't upgrade yet. Damn it! I need to buy two of those damn thing. Hmm. Bollocks. Question is, yeah, I'm storing up things. I don't know uh, if I need to, or if I should start using them again. Even I probably should, though. Yeah. Um, I'm planning to go down the basement and see what happens. Are we gonna die horribly or... Two ways to go down. There's another one over here. I want to see what this does. Okay, it's like... That's some weird damage or something, I don't know. Who's there? He wants! Leave! Uh-oh. I can't do this, right? Because I need um, oxygen to do this. Okay, so we need to go to that uh, other place first, then, right? Uh, yes, I can't do this yet. We need to get the compressor. I need to uh, have those tubes. Yeah. Need to do the junkyard.
Yeah, but that means we're all down with the village at least. Otherwise, I explored everything I think that I can. Oh. Mm. Annoying when you step into one of those. Darn it! No, it did some minor damage, it seemed like. Barely anything. Oxygen tanks and shit to shoot uh, fill that one up. So close. Um, I won't be able to get to the Yankee now. Fix this fence. Take a little uh, sightseeing. Oh, wait. <laughs> Lark away, buddy. You hear me screaming, then you know I died. it was going to be back there not be able to move he wasn't like chained up really Eh, 
Yeah, was a lovely had to put him down, sadly. Yes, yes, I'm not doing my need to return to the base. If you can, um... oh, come on. So you were up there. Can be useful. Nails. Bring it on. I say lanterns has been really good to use though. Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't found a single battery. Odd. I haven't found that yet. If it's any point in making uh, one of those, I seem to always break through them anyway. Prepared if they if the dog can jump right through the window. The heck did he just break my fence that I put up or what? Yep, they did. I wasn't going to recover from that. That was too much. Mm -hmm. 
This is why I was talking about the radio. That sucked, but there was so much shit coming at me at once there. Buy a battery. No, oh, I don't need to. I can upgrade now. Because I got that stuff. Um... upgraded as heck. Uh, is there anything else? Sounds good to have thought about. Ooh. Oh my god, I need to upgrade. Oh my god, I need yet another one of these. I didn't bring the hunting rifle, I left it. <laughs> I don't want it. Oh, that one is something I want. To, oh my god, that one is gonna do so much damage. Okay, so we need to buy a weapon part, pipe, but. Needing that stupid thing. Buy the parts for the double barrel, actually.
Okay, we need one more though, so it's 450 more. Yum. Um Journey into La La Land or? Uh, I mean, that one would be nice, but freaking heck, man, it's so hard to hit with me, though. Know? I think I'm gonna go with the chameleon. That's it. Got another choice. And if it's good, that's another story. Then we can sell that stuff. Buy the tapes, we have it. Okay. Just need 450 more and to buy another long barrel and find a freaking another pair of pliers somewhere. <laughs> 